some sketch over here just to guide us hello and welcome to another painting this is a vertical painting for today it's gonna to be a snow scene I am almost I'm well, I'm done with the, with the sky and the clouds I did that for a separate video if you haven't watched that and you're interested you can go ahead and watch uh, that part uh, it's not part one or part two just the cloud I did it for a separate video we're gonna go ahead and do the wintry scene we're gonna have some distant trees and then we're gonna have a couple of trees in the foreground and some details uh, in here in the immediate foreground so it's gonna be a very simple but I think you know nice um, practice to study if you guys are uh, uh, beginner or advanced beginner you know something like this you can do on a bigger canvas larger canvas and I, I think it would be an interesting composition let's go ahead and uh, start with a with a one inch brush this is a bristle brush okay this is the kind of brush you can find in hardware stores and very inexpensive I'm gonna use some white and some uh, ultramarine blue to create a very um, soft uh, background color for these trees I want it to be slightly darker than the sky and the clouds but about the same value so we can push them back so I'm gonna come over here with this brush I'm just gonna test this yeah this is about white a little darker than the background of course this uh, this tree is going to be covered with snow so we're going to drop the back the, the underpainting first and I'm going to use the corner of the brush for the outside edge this outside edge is more important than inside just like that I want to affect like that now some of this sketch that we have over here may be lost that doesn't matter I can go ahead and re-sketch that and as I said I'm more interested in the outside edge of these trees than inside because the inside I'm just gonna go ahead and cover And let's go ahead do the same thing over here and I'm gonna go ahead continue this stamping by myself and I'm gonna bring you back for highlights a few moments later all right so I went ahead and covered the whole area same same idea same technique now for highlights we have a couple of options we can continue using the same brush and just tap some highlights some snow on these trees or we could go ahead and use a sponge to you know create similar effect so I'm going to use the sponge but if you want to use the brush that's all your choice I'm going to create some um, lighter blue I don't want to go with straight uh, white I'm gonna add a lot of white to my blue very light color and I'm gonna tap this sponge on my palette pick up paint I don't know if you could see and just go ahead you can always test it somewhere on a corner make sure it's okay and then just go ahead and tap just like that I don't know if you could appreciate it right there the camera can pick it up just like that creates cool effect and it looks it looks like I'm using a straight white but I'm not is because you know the contrast does that but as you see um, it creates a cool effect um, not much of control you know 
you are at the mercy of the sponge if you like to have more control you can go ahead and use uh, your brush or smaller brush you can use a round brush just tap lightly don't pull because then you're not gonna get the same effect And the idea behind these trees and shrubs are these are distant, the like background trees. You know, the main event, the main focus of the painting is two big trees that we're going to work on. Alright, so we're going to retire that sponge. And I'm going to bring my round brush, same idea, same colors, just certain areas, for example, in this area, I want to have a bit more control. So I'm going to go ahead and continue tapping technique, but these are probably a bit closer to us. So probably we're going to see a bit more details here. And Just certain areas, you know, we can go ahead and apply a bit more details. Some blue for the shadow side, some highlighted, some white, lighter value rather. Just break these areas, this, this dark blue that you see. Just break it, you know, it's up to you how much work you want to put into it, the background trees, you know, but it's still a part of the painting, so you know, you want to, you want to create a nice clean job. Three hours later. create a bit more texture for these bushes over here just to separate them from the one in the back but again I wouldn't lose step over this you know doesn't matter really with the same brush same colors basically I'm gonna go ahead and uh, a bit darker in value some blue some of that white we're gonna go ahead and indicate uh, the river area over here now in the way in the distance right there I'm just gonna blend it with the background it's not gonna be any different value or anything like that you know it's gonna get blended in the foreground, I'm gonna go a bit darker. Um, the reflection of the trees and stuff like that. And this is just the underpainting for it. All right, now for the trees, I'm gonna go ahead and use a fieldwood brush just to block them. I have some of the sketch um, showing true um, but um, it doesn't matter it's just random shapes and stuff like that it's just a tree you know you can uh, paint a tree that you like you know it doesn't have to be you know anywhere close to what I do um, whatever tree that you like you can even drop in evergreen trees in the foreground 
but you know um, I wouldn't recommend because it's going to compete with these trees but you could change the landscape if you want so I'm just using some black to block these trees and this is a field bed brush and for small uh, limbs and twigs and branches I'm going to use a liner brush and if you're really not good with trees just go outside now the winter time trees don't have any leaves on them perfect time to you know really appreciate the, all the branches and the and the twigs and stuff like that snap some picture of a tree that you like and you can go ahead and sketch it you know so this part is really just just busy work um, we're just gonna go ahead and block the the idea of these trees and then we can go ahead and really work on these trees and apply highlights and stuff like that so just to save us time I'm gonna go ahead and block all these trees over here and bring you guys back because this is just you know me sitting here and apply this dark over here two thousand years later Now for highlighting these trees, we're going to use some ultramarine blue, a touch of black and white. And we're going to go ahead, work on the big tree. I'm not going to cover all the all the dark. I'm going to use lighter value for this side and darker value for the shadow side. Now in order for these trees to actually um, look nice, you really have to work on the details. Um, this is a demo and um, I'm going to show 
um, the technique and the colors I'm using in one area and um, that can be carbon copied you know, copy and pasted for other trees um, otherwise it's going to be too long and too boring for you guys to watch this detailed work but basically I'm going to, I'm using ultramarine blue uh, a touch of black uh, and some white and more white for the sh for the highlighted side and less white for the shadow side darker value that's the that's the idea that's the uh, MO basically for the rest of the painting and as you see I'm keeping some of that dark if you lose that black that black helps you know you can go ahead and just touch a few areas pick up some black and just do some touch ups some here and there some dots some basically just like that you know impression of some of the tree bark showing and apply some impression of snow on these branches here and there down here as well we're gonna work on that land area as well A bit more white now. some shadow color for the snow here some some activity back there whatever is going on again we can fix that I'm gonna go ahead and bring the shadow color for the trunk and more white and basically continue working on this snow area same idea basically And that's basically, you know, the idea, this tree. So I'm going to go ahead 
and continue doing the same idea on these two trees. The main tree was this that we did together. Same idea. Um, showing more of the same. It's really, it's not going to help anybody. It's only going to, you know, make you guys bored and you're going to fast forward it anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this tree. Same idea and bring you back to complete the foreground. 2,000 years later. Just like that. And then we're going to switch to our filbert brush. I'm going to pick up some of that ultramarine blue. A bit. A touch of white. And we're going to go ahead and drop impression of snow. I'm going to do the shadow color first. And then we're going to come in with some highlights. And hopefully we can be done with this piece. And the lay of the land is going to be slightly on the slope. If you want to paint it flat, just hold your brush, you know, level with your canvas. I'm going to bring it in a bit here, just as a slope. And then we're going to bring some white. Because we're not going to see light. Without dark, we're not going to appreciate the shadow without light. And obviously this tree in the foreground is going to cast a shadow. This way, which is going to hit the water area. So I'm going to just capture it, a little bit of it. This little one as well. And soften the hard edges. Some touch ups with this black. It really makes a difference. Some extra highlights for this tree. And then oh, I'm gonna run my finger over it, just blend it with the set rest of the landscape. So you have shadows and you have reflection. So these trees we're not gonna see any reflection and maybe some of the limbs and stuff like that. I'm gonna wanna go over the board with it, you know, definitely. This one, just the main branches and stuff like that. Some reflection in the water, and that's it, you know. Just apply the indication of some dark in here. And then we're gonna come over here and paint the water some some darker value of the surrounding. And we're gonna drop in some water lines, stuff like that. We're gonna make it make sense. And as we go into the distance, uh, we're gonna use lighter value, just fade it into the background. Just like that, run your finger over it. and try to keep your brush strokes level. And 
and just keep your brush strokes level just like so and you could go ahead soften some of these hard edges just like so and a bit more highlights for this part I'm just pulling over just like that it will break the paint and create impression of snow here I'm gonna leave some of that blue back to liner brush some of the ultramarine blue some white I'm gonna go ahead and do a few touch-ups here and there apply some highlights fix some of the imperfections I'm gonna go ahead with a liner brush, drop in some water lines um, here and there. And just soften some of it, especially in the foreground. can go directly over the reflected uh, area actually makes it better just keep it keep your brush level I'm not using a straight white I'm using a mix of blue and white so Straight white it would be too harsh. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video. Obviously, you can work on this scene a bit more. You can add more elements, maybe a log, maybe a few tweaks here and there, maybe even some rocks in the water or some rocks over here. There are many other things that you could add to this painting. But for the sake of the demo, I'm gonna stop here. And I thank you for joining me, for watching these videos. Don't forget to drop a like before you go, it really helps the channel. Thank you and I will hopefully see you in another video.